A more common issue nowadays is the existence of a type of space in Excel or on web pages that Excel is not recognizing as a space. So here you can see we've got numbers that looks like it's split on thousands by space. But if you look very carefully, you'll see it's not a typical space. So let's see how Power Query handles that. So if I go data from table or range. You'll see we've got it, seems to have guessed that they're both text, that shouldn't be a problem. Let's change that and make it a decimal number. I'm just going to replace the current. And you'll see it gives us error messages. So let's see what we can do about that. So firstly we can try our locale. So I'm going to right click, and let's go change type, and let's try using a locale that uses a space as thousands. So I'm going to say we want a decimal number and I think I'm going to use English South Africa. I think that's, so it looks like it should work. Let's see, again it gives us the error message. So it looks like there's a space there, so let's just get rid of that space. So I'm going to go to transform, let's try replace values. I'm going to say please find a space, I've clicked the space bar place with nothing so that's fine I'm gonna say OK and again nothing seems to have happened let's force it to be decimals again nothing has changed so this is a particular type of space that can cause problems at this stage you don't have to get rid of this because you actually need it so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go back into the settings this space here which we generated, so you'll see if I move my arrows you can just see it moving there by clicking the keyboard space key is not the correct space it's actually a hex space and the way we can um, tell Excel to look for that is we type hash open bracket 00A0 and close bracket however when I click OK you'll see it still hasn't done anything and if you look in the formula bar, you'll notice that for some reason it's added a bracket hash bracket. So we need to get rid of that. I'm just going to get rid of that. When I click enter, you'll see now the space has clearly disappeared. Let's see if that's finally solved it. No, it hasn't. But now at least we've got it at a stage where we can try the locale and see if that works. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to say change type, I'm going to use a different locale and let's see, I'm going to go and try, we'll do a decimal number and let's use English, South Africa let's say OK, again we get the error message so this is one of those situations where Sometimes you've got to keep trying and what we're going to try is what we recommended in a previous lesson where you must just try and do basically the exact opposite. So even though that looks like there's full stops there um, and my computer should work with full stops, I'm actually going to replace a full stop. I'm going to replace it with a comma. When I say OK, you'll see a comma gets put in. Let's now go and change the type into a locale and we're now going to say I want it to be a decimal number I'm going to try English South Africa again and now you'll see it seems to recognize it's a number Cra changes the type to decimal and now it seems to have worked. So don't stop trying once you've got rid of the problem spaces just keep going and try whatever is required to get it to the top you want because that's the only way you can continue to use it in Power Query.